Bergen, we are continuing our reporting on this tragedy in Middletown. We are getting word now that there are multiple fatalities. We don't know what that means in terms of numbers. Multiple fatalities at the clean energy plant on River Road in Middletown. Just about 11.30 this morning, there was a large blast. There was fire, there was a plume of smoke, and there are fatalities. The governor is on her way to the scene. We have been told that she has activated the emergency operations center in Hartford. That's being staffed. Mark Robbins is live. What more can you tell us? Mark. Over here, and I'm in Portland just across the river, and this neighborhood shook with the explosion around 1130. Windows breaking out in several houses. I want you to take a look behind me at the clean energy plant. Take a look at this scene. Off to the right of the facility, you see... Uh, a large number of emergency vehicles, police, fire, rescue vehicles there on that ridge as we now uh, are finding out that there are uh, a, a larger number of casualties than first thought. So the emergency personnel there now as we pan back just a little bit to our left as we look at it, you see the facility, those two smokestacks, and in the middle is where the explosion occurred. If you look at basically the base of those smokestacks, you see it is now kind of clear. It is open. That building was completely enclosed before the explosion around 11.30 this morning. Now only about a third of that building is still encased, and even that part on the far left, as you look at it is not completely enclosed there was some sort of testing going on all morning people heard noises before the explosion this is what they heard immediately after the explosion all of a sudden there was a big explosion and the flames were higher than the stack itself it I never want to see anything like that in my life. It felt like an earthquake, but it was more of an explosion because we were able to see it, visually see the, the fire and the flames coming out of um, the, the between the two towers. The flames were shooting up, and it just rocked the whole place. Windows were blown out. The, the explosion came, and we had pictures on the wall that they were knocked on the ground, and knickknacks and stuff all fell on the floor. I thought my house exploded. <laughs> And a little bit earlier, News Channel 8, I got a chance to speak with a relative of an employee of the facility who did not go into work, was asked to, but did not go into work today. He is now very shaken up, does not want to speak to anybody because he knows that crew. And he says it was a crew of about 100 people inside that clean air facility uh, this morning when this terrible accident occurred.